Hey, it's Ben, and in this video, we'll be going over how to implement AI-powered miscall text back inside of High Level without needing a new number. Miscall text back is a feature that sends a text message to the customer's phone number that they called you from automatically if the business didn't pick up. But sometimes the issue is that many businesses aren't super interested in getting a brand new phone number. So I'll cover not just how to set up AI-powered miscall text back, but also the alternative options you can offer your clients or use yourself if you don't want a new number. The reason this is such a great feature is because the speed and the automation can significantly impact the revenue. Studies show that up to 50% of the sales go to the vendor that responds first. So an instant follow-up message prevents lost opportunities. Further, and do it where not only is a text back sent automatically if the business doesn't pick up, but if the customer does respond, AI will carry on the conversation and try to secure a booking or a purchase. So a super cool feature, and I'll show you how to do it right now. Okay, so there's two ways you can go about this. The first one is if you activate AI conversation with only SMS. If you do do this, then it will go across your entire account, meaning that it won't just be for missed call text back, but also just normal text that come into your account. The AI bot will then reply to all of them. So if you want it that way, and what you'll do is come over to settings in the bottom left, come up to phone numbers, go to advanced settings, and then down to voicemail and miss call text back. Then you're going to go ahead and toggle this enable miss call text back on, and you can choose to customize it if you want. This just means that when somebody calls you, this message will be sent out. And then if they reply and you want an AI to kick in, come over to conversation AI, click on create bot, click on continue, then name your bot, click on autopilot, make sure SMS is toggled on. Then come type your business name over here, set the time that you want it to wait before responding set the maximum messages a bot can send in a conversation if you wanted to send more than 10 messages before it stops then you can just adjust it here then you can go ahead and train the bot so click on bot training type in your domain click on get data then it'll do a web crawl of your entire website and gather all the information next to that you can set the bot goals if you want help with writing the personality the intent additional information just go to prompt guidelines and then follow that article but once you're happy with all of it just make sure you come to a save in the bottom right corner and then you're done so what you're saying is when somebody calls you and you miss it an sms is going to be sent out to them and then if they reply, then this bot will kick in and have the conversation with them. Again, this is for all SMS. So if you want it to only be for missed call text back, where the AI bot will then jump in, then you're going to go back to phone numbers, click on advanced settings, voice and missed call text back, and you want to toggle this off because we're going to be creating a custom workflow that then is triggered to then tell the AI bot to jump in only for missed call text back. So click on deactivate and go to back, come to automation and click on create workflow. Then you can start from scratch, but there is a recipe that is already there. So click on select a recipe scroll all the way to the bottom and then look for recipe auto miss call text back select that and make sure you name it at the top then this is the workflow that they're going to give you so all this information is pretty much set such as the trigger which is just saying that if an incoming call is missed then this workflow is going to trigger so make sure you select the time delay you can set it to a minute or whatever you want this means that the bot's only going to kick in after one minute click on save assign it to a user if you would like then this contact tag will be added which is just going to tag the person with a miss call tag so after the tag we're going to delete these last three actions over here because because this is just one simple SMS, which will send this, and this won't be coming from the bot. So what we're gonna do is click on delete and delete all actions from here. And what we're gonna do is add a conversation AI action. So type in conversation AI. Then you wanna toggle on advanced bot configuration. You'll see that it has pulled information automatically from your account, but we're gonna change this so that it can follow some custom rules. Just before we do that, we're gonna come down to timeout. You can set how long you want the bot to wait before it times out and stops replying. Select the channel to be SMS. Then you can select the bot response limit and the wait time in second, which means it'll wait 10 seconds between each reply. So if you come back up here now, we want to change the personality and the additional instructions as well as the questions. So you can use ChatGPT to help you write this. And I recommend pasting in a prompt that looks something like this. I saw this prompt from Richard Hickman. Paste into ChatGPT. It will give you 10 questions that I recommend you fill out with your business information. Once you do, you're just going to copy that information, pull the different sections and paste it into your conversation AI action. So I've got my example. So I'm just going to paste it in here and do the same for additional instructions and questions. Okay, so I've pasted all my information. Then I'm going to come down to the branches. I'm going to click on add condition and then type in customer gave their name and ask the question. Then in the condition, I just typed in customer gave information Then click on save. So that's pretty much it. The AI will now have a conversation with them, taking them down the questions that you have given it specifically for missed call text back. Once you're happy with your entire workflow, make sure you click on publish and then save. Okay. And just to jump in here, I want to show you an example of what your customer will experience. So I'm going to run an example with my own personal number here. I'm going to click on run test. And then you'll see in a moment that the contact will enter the workflow. 
So the contact has entered the workflow. After one minute, I should receive a notification on my phone. And while we're waiting, I also want to let you know that in your conversation AI action over here, please make sure that your questions do not have the quotes icon in front of your questions. Because when you put into ChatGPT, it will give you the questions with these quotes. Just be careful because how it is pasted in here, it will come on as a message on the phone. So I wanted my first message to be, hey, this is the location name. Sorry, I missed your call. Could I please get your name? There we go. I just received a notification on my phone that when I click it, it says, hey there, it seems we might have missed each other earlier. I'm here to help you with any questions you may have or to assist you in scheduling a consultation. Could you please share your name and what you're looking to achieve with your nutrition goals? So again, this example was for a nutrition bot, for a dietitian, as you can see here. And you can adjust the length of the messages in the additional instructions if you do not want it to be as long as it is over here. So if I had to reply to this message, then it would wait a couple of seconds before the AI will kick in and have a conversation with me. Unfortunately, I can't send a message right now because I'm using my German number, so it won't go through. But the client will be able to have a conversation with the AI until I Either the person is scheduled in again or the conversation is complete. So, so those are the two options. Either you can set the AI to jump in for all SMSs, including missed call text back, or you can just do it where you set a workflow up and it will only jump in for missed calls. So now let's say that a business wants to keep their phone number. Maybe, maybe they're not super happy with buying a brand new one. What can we do? So you can either port your phone number to the high level LC system. So just go to Google and search for porting your telephone number, high level support doc, and scroll down to the porting form. Click on it. Then you'd have to fill in your information here to begin the port process but please note that this means that all your numbers will come to and from high level second option will be to forward your number to a high level number so what you'll have to do is come to google and search call forwarding to your high level phone number article then you'll see the information for setting up call forwarding for the major phone carriers so just follow the information depending on which carrier you use and what this means is that when somebody calls your normal number that number will forward to a high level number which will then go ahead and activate this called text back sms's which the ai will then jump into in doing that obviously you would have to buy it actual high level number so to do that you'll come to phone numbers come up to add number and click on add phone numbers and you just type in your country and choose the number just a quick important note the missed call workflow only triggers when a call comes into the go high level tracking number not your main business line so if you're using a landline or an office phone as your main number you will need to forward calls from that number to your go high level tracking number the forwarding setup happens with your current phone provider not inside of high level so whatever phone provider that you're using you must get in touch with them to help with the forwarding setup now here's the key if you're forwarding all calls your team won't be able to answer from the original number that call is going straight into high level so for the best results use a dedicated tracking number for online campaigns or marketing example if you're using facebook ads or google my business or on your website and leave your main phone number untouched that way only marketing calls trigger the ai and your staff still answers the regular phones as usual and instead of forwarding your business phone number to high level which could interfere with your live call answering you can use this approach that i saw from gary caps which is ifttt if this then that that, you can detect a missed call on your existing phone number and then trigger a webhook or an automation that starts with the conversation AI flow inside of high level. That means you get to keep your current phone set up exactly as is. Your team answers calls like normal, but if they miss one, AI kicks in instantly to follow up without needing to forward anything. You'll need a subscription with IFTTT and a one-time automation setup, which will just be a webhook. It's lightweight, super effective, and avoids disrupting your current phone flow. Amazing. So that's how you do missed call text back with AI inside of high level with options to do it if you do not want to change your business's phone number if you want to see a video on how to get your phone number approved with a2p 10 dlc make sure you check out this video we've just updated it with the latest information since the rules have recently changed and if you have any questions make sure you let us know down in the comments and i'll see you in the next video